Here's how to take beautiful family photos using your phone in less than five minutes. So here we go. Here's the photo we're going with, and here's some other ones we got too. And here's how we did it. So if you have a tripod, use that. If not, place your phone against a chair, a mug, whatever you have laying around. Change your settings to this so your phone doesn't shut off while shooting. Next, download this app, Life Lapse. It's available on iOS and Android. We're going to use life lapses interval timer and just a heads up this is a pro feature and there's a seven day free trial when you first open the app so i recommend using it if you don't like it after just cancel the free trial the interval timer in life lapse is awesome because you don't need a bluetooth remote to activate photo taking and it saves you from having to keep running back to your camera and taking photos we're going to set up the interval timer so it takes a photo every one second. So you're going to get hundreds of photos in a matter of minutes. We set up in front of our tree, in front of the window, so it's nice and bright. And we just engage each other. I try to tickle the boys to get some laughs out of them. It was pretty hard to get twin toddlers and a dog in this, but in the end, we got it. We set up in front of a window so it's nice and bright and as you can see in the tr in front of the tree, I did pull the tree out so that we could be angled more towards the window. Once you're done shooting, the editor will open, so just scroll across. We took over 250 photos. Choose your favorite one. You can tap on any photo, select all, and download them to your phone, or just download the one that you want by selecting it and then download to phone. Once the photo was downloaded to my phone, I brought it into Lightroom to add my favorite filter, which is our Photography Bright and Airy preset. However, you can use whatever filter app you like. Normally I would just say export to camera roll, but I want to save it in a higher quality for print. So export as, and then under dimensions, click the largest available dimensions. This will save it in the highest quality possible. Then I bring it into Vistaprint to choose a template. We're not sponsored by Vistaprint, but they're really affordable and they're usually quick to deliver, which is why I'm choosing them. I'm using the filter on their site to only show folded cards that have one photo in a vertical dimension. Um, if you have a number of photos that you want to choose, then you can use this filter to only show you templates with that number of photos in the design. Also, the back of the card has a Vistaprint logo, which you can delete. So don't forget to do that if you don't want their logo on there. Heads up, it's November 30th when I ordered these, and these are the shipping rates and delivery times. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more tutorials like this, 